Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the Scale Model Outlaw. If it's your first time checking in, we appreciate you. Hope you like what you see. Uh, if you do, how about give us one of those big old thumbs ups? That's right, we love those big old thumbs ups. Or maybe a comment down there in the old comment section. We appreciate those two. And the subscribe is free, don't cost a dime, and we appreciate them. To our returning viewers, thank you guys and gals. We say it every time because we mean it every time. Thanks for showing up and thanks for coming back and checking out the channel. Today's video, super excited about this one. Uh, have a very uh, cool stash ad. If you kind of look over my shoulder, you can see a little bit about what I got. And uh, if you saw the thumbnail, you probably know what's going to be in my stash ads. That's right. We got some really cool Aurora stuff that is super, super hard to find. And we want to share it with you guys. But before we get into all that, Let's hear from our awesome sponsors. Always good to hear from those guys. Scalefinishes.com for all your paint and supply needs. Go there, check them out. Uh, load up your cart with their awesome products. Scroll to the bottom in the discount code. Put in Outlaw10. Outlaw 10 will get you a 10% discount. Then hop on over and see our good friends Joel at IcemanCollections.com. Same thing with him. Check out all his cool categories and his cool products. Uh, load up your cart. Scroll to the bottom in the discount code. Put in Outlaw 10. Save you 10% with IcemanCollections.com. All right. So here's the story. As many of you know, um, or some of you don't know, but... Uh, I have a little Facebook auction site called Minis Model Auctions. Uh, kind of a long story, but a collector who was in our local community, hobby community, model community, um, was tragically killed in a car wreck. And his son was left with a bunch, and by a bunch, I mean a garage and a storage unit full of model kits. I ended up with most of the... Um, car motorcycle kits that we're auctioning off on the site and then we give the proceeds to the owner uh and um i was you know wasn't trying to make any money off the guys trying to help him out it's basically his inheritance for lack of better terms so uh we've been selling those that really good luck on those and so if you guys have bid and bought anything from the auction site thank you so very much uh if you're interested in it it's minis model auction on facebook i will uh uh, post up a picture at the end of the video uh, of the site and you guys can go there and check it out just basically go to your facebook put in minis model auction and um, ask to join i'll let you in and the bidding is pretty pretty cut and dry on there um, but anyway uh, the owner uh, knew that i wasn't making you know money off of this deal I was just trying to help him out and get the kits out to guys that would actually build them as opposed to going to some vendor who's going to flip them at the next show and charge us more money than than they're worth so in return he decided that the rarest of the rare which yep that's that stuff behind me should be mine so i couldn't be more thankful about that but uh really really cool stuff there was some more pieces when we first separated this stuff but um somebody walked off with the 417 donovan motor and somebody walked off with a sealed chassis kit so don't know how that happened it was something that he was doing uh but i think somebody just slipped them under his nose and got out with them because they were there trust me when i spotted these uh in the storage unit sitting in the corner i took an inventory of everything that was there and it's not all there now which is too bad but things happen that's the dark side sorry i'm getting to the dark side i'm still excited about everything um some of this stuff is uh well one one piece is new it just you know the old box most of the stuff is uh been put together assembled or at least partially assembled and um which still makes it cool and i like it because it's first it's rare and two uh, you know it's still not to the point where we can't take it apart and fix it so before we get into it any deeper let's start with our little guys um he definitely these are the ones that are probably the most built if you will um but he's got these little guys in here. The drivers have been painted up. Some decals have been put on. This one, uh, this must be the headless driver because he uh, 
he, he didn't well, he didn't have a head you know they're supposed to have a head but there is some fresh pieces in here that haven't been put together yet uh what i thought was really cool is the the amount of colors these things come in so many different colors here's an orange dude um here's a gray dude you know they're two-piece bodies um another gray dude uh, more gray dudes more orange dudes just all kinds of neat stuff they even got a trophy in here uh check out the trophy that's pretty cool ready to be painted up i do have the old decals now obviously these decals are no good i believe in the little bit of research that i've done i believe these kits were released in 1974 so you know the decals are no good but what i really like about them is i could send this off to terry at uh, uh sts decals and he can make me a new one and if you look really close i think you can see it you look really close there's names right here and uh mike is one of them so i'd like to get those repopped just to have that name just to be able to put the name on stuff but i won't dig it all out guys it's a lot of the same stuff in here and a lot of bits and pieces but all the little all the little driver dudes uh sitting down standing up really cool stuff uh again the aurora stuff super hard to find um, i don't know what i'll ever do with these little driver guys but it's still kind of cool to have uh you know on the shelf just because of its nostalgia and the history behind it uh, so we got two boxes of those i won't bother you with the second box it's more of the same but the chassis I don't know, probably the easiest to just open it up and show it to you this chassis is really cool. It's a 1 16th chassis. It's got two different types of wheels. And um, the tires are here as well. This is another one that he opened up. Checked it out. There's the uh, tires and wheels for it. Looks like he opened it up, checked it out, and then kind of put it back in the box. And uh, let, it, let it sit over in the corner. We all do it. Um, but that's what the box looks like. Really, really neat stuff, man. This, there was a whole series of this stuff. Uh, super high dollar if you've got one that's not been opened or whatever. Really, really expensive stuff. But there's the whole series, I believe. There was like 10 in total. So they got the garage, the bodies, the 417 motor, the 392 motor. Um, really, really cool stuff. The mechanic with the toolbox. Uh, Lots and lots of cool stuff in there, man. And these things, um, I'm told, there's two different stories. And I tend to believe the latter, the latter story that I'm about to tell you. But the, the story is that um, these Aurora kits were traveling across the country, having Aurora having sold to, it was either Monogram or Ravel or one of them. And there was a train wreck, and a lot of the molds got lost. There is a... In, insider story and i can't reveal my source that's right i'm a news guy i look like a news guy don't i <laughs> but um there is an insider source that says that the uh, molds not all that train wreck did happen but those molds weren't, weren't one of the ones that were lost it's my understanding that um when they got to where they were going they weren't real popular at the time and the company that bought aurora out uh, did some math and it made more sense to them to scrap the steel than to uh, try to make kits with them That's why we will never ever 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 see these kits again Which of course is part of the reason why they're so expensive because economics 101 supply and demand Well there there's your history lesson at least a little bit. I know about Aurora But here is the this is the the cream of the crop here. The other one uh, That we got back there is, is the same. It just um has been started so we'll show you this one and uh, check it out there's a lot a lot of cool stuff man this thing is so cool this one's still in the box so this is the 392 uh, really cool comes with the engine stand and there's all the pieces guys it's my understanding and i got to do some more research but it's my understanding that the clutch actually works i do know that if you assemble this kit correctly there's more in the series if you do if you assemble this kit correctly the motor will actually rotate. It's got little pistons. You can see them in there, uh, the cylinder heads, and uh, it'll actually rotate. I, I tried on the other one just a little bit, but it's assembled. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to stress it or break it. 
Now, I am not going to take these out of the plastic. I do, and I can't say for sure if this is how it came from Aurora or not. Um, there is a staple in here, but that staple's every bit as old as I am or close to it. So it could be that it came this way, but we'll see. But this is still all on the sprue. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, super old. This one appears as in the factory bag. Um, I don't want to take anything out and lose any of the parts. But uh, you can see the crankshaft in there. You can see uh, the zoomies, the intake. It's got all kinds of really, really cool stuff in there. And uh, looks like it's complete. There's two chrome pieces. There. Oh, did you see the camshaft? <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Still fighting with this cold. See the camshaft? Check that out. That is too cool. When was the last time you saw a model with a camshaft? And it rotates. That's I'm super excited about these. Before you ask, no, not for sale. No, not for trade right now. Um, I don't know that I'll ever build them. <coughs> but there's something to really, they're a piece of history. And uh, I'm really digging them right now. Maybe down the road, I'll, the newness will wear off and maybe I'll trade them for something. But even comes with uh, the different wires that you need to wire this thing up. And of course, more of the super cool old school decals. <laughs> These things are really cool, man. I'm super proud to have them. Um, looking forward. I, like I say, I'm probably never going to build them, but I am excited about having them on the shelf. This is, to me, is something that you can display and, um, you know, be, be proud of. I know, why, why have it if you're not going to build it? I get that. Trust me. Most of the time I'm on board with that logic as well. But I think something like this is the exception to the rule, at least in my opinion. And well, frankly, I own it. So if I don't want to build it, I don't have to. <laughs> well, all right, guys, we just wanted to get on here real quick and show you that really cool stuff, Aurora stuff. I, I'm digging it. I do wish I had the other motor to go along with it and the chassis. And if you're out there and you're watching this video and you took that stuff from that dude, you, you're a dirty bird. That's my politest way of saying it. Uh, but either way, guys, we appreciate you tuning in. As always, be kind to each other, be safe, and keep on modeling.